Alrighty, so I've just come in from picking pine cones in the backyard and obviously they're all like wet and closed up and what we want to achieve is we're going to soak them in the sink. I'm going to start filling the sink with some warm water. So it's going to be a mixture of warm water and here's just a few, here's what the pine cones look like at the beginning here. These are a couple different ones off a different tree. So these are all closed up. And then I also went and got, and these are just little itty bitty babies. See these little babies? We're gonna see, I've never opened up ones this small. I'm just gonna check it out. So the purpose of soaking them in the water, number one is to clean them off. Number two, pine cones hold seeds, little critters, bugs, all that fun stuff. And what we want to do is try to soak some of them guys out of there. So I fill my sink up with some warm water and just some old distilled vinegar that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And there's no, you know, there's no precise measurement. I just kind of, you know, fill my sink up about a quarter of the way, throw some vinegar in there, probably about half a bottle, depending on how many pine cones. I mean, I could throw 20 more pine cones in here, but this is just right now to give you an idea of what I do. So at this point, the pine cones have been picked. I'm now putting them in water and vinegar. I like to spin them around a little. If they start to float to the top too much, you can put a, you know, a dish or something down to hold them underwater. But I find that this works okay with me as long as I swish them around. This will stay in this solution for probably about a half an hour. And when I'm ready to take them out after a half an hour, I just kind of spin them around every like, five minutes or so. I just let them soak. And then I'll come back and show you what the next step will be. All right, we'll see you back in just a few moments. All righty, so the pine cones have been soaking in the water for approximately a half an hour now. You can see the water's a little bit discolored because of sap and dirt and things like that. So the next step is I have my oven on at 200 degrees. I've lined a cookie sheet with aluminum foil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pine cones out of the water, give them just a squeeze. You know, I mean, they're soaking wet, but we're just gonna take off the excess water and we're gonna line them on the cookie sheet. We're just gonna, like I said, just squeeze out the water. It doesn't have to be perfect. So these are gonna go in the oven at 300 degrees. Let me get these little baby ones out of here. They're gonna go in the oven at 300 degrees for a half an hour. After 15 minutes into the half an hour, you're going to just move your pine cones around just like you would french fries or anything like that. Let me make sure I have all these little babies. Nope, two of them escaped. Okay, I'm interested to see how these come out. I've never done ones this small before. Okay, so here we go. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put these in the oven at 300 degrees for 30 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'm gonna flip them over and then I will come back and show you where we're at and what's going on, okay? I'll be back in 15. Alrighty, so I have pulled my pine cones out of the oven. Let me lay them down here, right here in front of you all. And I'm gonna show you what we have. Okay, so here are those little itty bitty babies. Now, I didn't expect that they would get too big, but they definitely are bigger. And then remember I had those two pine cones that were kind of had like that white coating on them. Here's what they look like. So now what we've done is we basically, you see all these seeds here on the tray. What we've done is kind of if there was any mites or maybe ticks or anything, we've definitely taken care of them by cleaning them and putting them in the oven. And at this point they're cooled off already. That's how fast they cool down. 
and you can do anything you'd like now. You can decorate them, you can make them cinnamon pine cones. So here are the ones that had that little bit of white on them. As you can see, they popped up quite nicely. These ended up cooking for an hour in total at 300 degrees. And what I did was every 15 minutes, I just rotated them a little bit. Now you're gonna see some marks and things like that on the tray. If there's any sap or pine, on the pine cones, it's gonna go onto the tray. So I tend to open a window in my house if I can when doing this, because it doesn't smell very pretty. But here's the other pine cones. And as you can see, look at how lovely they have come up. So there is a difference depending on the kind of pine cone that you pick. I'm going to be looking for some of the pine cones that kind of look like this, but they're shorter. And I could clip these if I wanted to, um, but I'm going to look for some different designs. But I think these came up absolutely lovely. It's not difficult to do. What makes this nice is it's something that's out of my yard, right off my trees. And, you know, I, I just think when I put it in my home, whether I decide to decorate it with glitter or whatever I choose to do with it, maybe make one of those popular flower pots that are out right now. Um, I'm not sure, but this is just a little fun thing that you can do, obviously with an oven, you wanna be the adult using the oven. Um, pretty cool, uh, something interesting, and I thought I would share with all of you. Please let me know what you thought of this video, and I hope you all have a wonderful Friday afternoon. Bye-bye for now, and thank you for watching.